Hi, Kubrick Lover 1972. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. Um, as you can see in the title, it says R.I.P. Jonathan Demme. Um, in, 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 to let, let you know about Jonathan Demme, um, he passed away um, today or yesterday or something. Um, and um, I, I've... I, I go to the Jacob Burns Film Center in Pleasantville, New York. Uh, I haven't gone recently, but I, I have I have gone a lot in the past. And um, he had two series that he ran there. Uh, one was Rarely Seen Cinema, which I went to for a few years. And he started one up a few years back uh, called Saddle Up Saturdays, where he would show a Western every Saturday. Um but um, he was a really great guy, uh, very caring, very passionate about film. And uh, he wanted people that weren't heard as much in the film world to uh, get, get their say and become, pro become part of the, the film world, you know, like women filmmakers and African-American filmmakers. He, 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 really, he really wanted things to... Um, blossom for them and not that there aren't women filmmakers these days or African American filmmakers but he wanted them to he wanted more and more of them to uh, become more prominent in, uh, on the film stage if you will um, and um, you know he carried I mean he, he, he really you know he won an Oscar for best director for Silence, Silence of the Lambs um but I don't, you know, uh, and, and, and I, you know, he, he, de he, he did really deserved it. It was a really good film. Um, but he wasn't the kind of person that would, would like say to you, like, uh, um, would boast about his, uh, his accomplishments or something like that. He, he had humility. That's, he was a very humble guy and he, he cared a lot about what other people thought. Uh, he want when he did rarely seen cinema, um, Sometimes you would have the filmmaker there or some person that would relate to the subject of the film, or he would just talk with the audience. Um, well, he, he would talk with the audience anyways at the end of each rarely seen cinema movie. Um, but he just liked to talk about movies, and he loved to share his enthusiasm for films and and. When you're when you're with him, you, you really felt good about yourself. I mean, he, he really cared about everybody, the, the filmmakers that came there to um, show their films, and um, to the audience. He, he he really cared what people had to say. Um, it, it it breaks my heart that he's he, he's he's passed away uh, because uh, he he was just. I, oh, he also had a good sense of humor, too. And, um, anyways, um, what else can I say about him? I, um, I don't know. I just, I, as far as me knowing him, um, I once told him my name, but I, I don't think, maybe he did, doesn't, didn't remember my name for most of the time I, I, I had talked to him. But he, 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 I think he knew who I was by facial recognition. Um, and, um, but, um, he, he was just, uh, just, I, I don't know if I can, just very caring about people and very enthusiastic about people and film. And he wanted, and he really loved to hear people's opinions about movies and, what they liked about movies and, and, uh, not just film, but things in general, other things, social issues. Um, you know, like he, he went to, I think he went to, um, what's it called? Um, uh, um, the wall street movement. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, well, what, whatever it's called, something wall street. He, I think he was, he was down there for that. He went to New Orleans when the the the, tor the hurricane hit, and he uh, f you know took did a documentary down there, and uh, 
But, you know, I, I think a lot of people can tell you that he was a really nice, good guy, and I'm really going to miss him. So that's my uh, video. Um, I just want to get that off my chest and, um, you know, um, and, um, yeah, so anyways, um, I'm going to try to be back with another video. Um, I watched Dina DVD's video recently, his latest video, and he mentioned my channel. Um, he mentioned um, that I was going to do a review of um, the Decalogue. And um, I, at the current, when he met, when I was at that time period a few days ago, whenever it was, um, I was watching the special features of the Hobbit's extended editions. Um, but I had just started just a little bit at the starting of the the, the uh, third one, the Battle of Five Armies. But I decided to put that on hold, and I decided to start watching the Decalogue. So. I've watched the first two uh, Decalogues, and the third one I fell asleep just because I was tired. It wasn't because I didn't like it. You know, I, I've seen the Decalogue at least twice before. But, you know, I, I haven't seen the special features that come with this, this edition. I saw the Facets version, and um, um, uh, it, it has... I think it has some, some different features than the Criterion version. And the Criterion also has a booklet that comes with it. So i got to read the booklet. So um, I think I'm going to tackle that right now, the, the uh, Decalogue, and then uh, leave my thoughts on, on the uh, Decalogue, do a review, and the, my what I think about it and all that kind of stuff um, in another video. So... Be on the lookout for that. I don't know how soon I can get it finished. Maybe it'll take a few weeks, maybe a month. I don't. I'm not sure, but uh, I, I guess yeah. Put put that on your radar, and I'll I'll try to show the decalogue review soon. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, by the way, take a look at my poetry. Uh, it hasn't got a lot of hits. Uh, I have you know Garage Band. I have my. Um, short treatment called Cause of Love, a voiceover narration that film I would like to hopefully make one day. And uh, I did a digital filmmaking class. I did If Dogs Could Sing, which is called Dirty Dog by ZZ Top, where I took footage of dogs and I edited it, edited it together and had like the singing of the ZZ Top singers, you know, with combined with footage of dogs. But, but yeah, so... That, my garage band stuff, um, just more hits would be appreciated on all those things. But, you know, I know people have got things to do. They've got, you know, jobs, they've got studies, they've got movies to watch, they've got, you know, all sorts of things to do, reading, exercise, you know. So hopefully, if, if you can't fit in a video, that would be appreciated. But I understand, you know. And I've also noticed, this is the last thing I'll say, and then I'll then um, this will be the end of the video. Um, one of my poems, I think is less than 30 seconds long, the video, I see has no hits on it. I don't know if it's because of the title that people are not watching it, but it's called One Night in Amsterdam. And um, I have written some kind of racy poetry, you know, poetry that's kind of... Um, um, not controversial, I would say, but, um, you know, kind of adult material, maybe you could put it. Um, and this particular poem is not, not in that category. It's just a nice poem. So if you can, please uh, take a look at that poem. And uh, please leave me your comments on anything you watch of mine. Let me know what you think. And I, I've, seen, <coughs> I've seen some uh, comments on... A few videos that I, I did uh, a while back, which were my, uh, well, I don't know if it's a while back, but my DVD collection, of, uh, a few people have left some comments uh, on the, those videos that I haven't comment back, uh, commented back to them on, um, and they did that re fairly recently, so I've got to go search <coughs> search my, my um, archive of people leaving comments and try to get on that so 
All right, so that's the end of the video, and um, uh, hope, all, hope all is well with you, and uh, take care.